Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, otherwise known as EIGRP. Specifically within EIGRP, we are going to be taking a look at troubleshooting EIGRP, and this is EIGRP troubleshooting lab number one. So first off, let me go ahead and explain the network topology that we are dealing with in this lab. We have four routers, router one, two, three and four and they are all in autonomous system one of EIGRP also it is good to know that every interface and IP address in this diagram is in EIGRP autonomous system one as well so with that being said we have two serial links a link between R1 and R3. This is 172.16.13.0 slash 24. This is a 1.5 meg connection. Also we have another serial interface between R3 and R4. This is 172.16.34.0 slash 24. This again is a 1.5 meg connection. We have two fast ethernet connections which is between R1 and R2. We have a 100 meg fast ethernet connection, which is using the IP subnet of 172.16.12.0 slash 24. And then we also have another fast ethernet connection between R2 and R4, which is 172.16.24.0 slash 24. We also have two loopback interfaces in this diagram. We have one off of R4, which is loopback 0, and we have the IP address of 4.4.4.0 slash 24. And also on R1, we have a loopback 0 interface with the IP address of 1.1.1.0 slash 24. So again, this is EIGRP troubleshooting lab number one. What we're going to look at now is a couple of trouble tickets that have problems in which we have to come up with these solutions. And so what I'm going to show you is how to troubleshoot EIGRP, what to look for. So let's go ahead and take a look at EIGRP troubleshooting lab number one. So ticket number one, our task number one says that after giving your junior level network administrator access to R3, you have noticed that you are unable to form an EIGRP neighbor relationship between R1 and R3. Further troubleshooting shows that R3 is unable to form an EIGRP neighbor relationship with R4. So right off the bat we know that we have a neighbor relationship issue between R1 and R3 and also between R3 and R4. Second part of this task tells us to configure the network so that EIGRP never relationships are restored between R1 and R3 and also between R3 and R4. It goes on to tell us that we are un only allowed to modify, add, or delete one command to complete the task. So again, this is good information to know. You must read through the whole troubleshooting ticket because you might come up with a solution to the problem, but you might be breaking the rules allowed in what you are allowed to do within for the solution. So it tells us specifically that we are only allowed to modify, add, or delete one command to complete the task. So the first thing that we would like to do when troubleshooting EIGRP, first we need to make sure that we have basic layer 3 reachability between the routers in question for the EIGRP neighbor relationships. So between R1 and R3, what we need to do is go to R1 and we'll just check, we'll do a show IP interface brief on R1. That's a good place I like to start. This gives us basic layer 1, layer 2, and layer 3 information. Again, the connection between R1 and R3 is serial 0, 0. We see that we have an IP address 172.16.13.1. 
which is correct according to our diagram. Again, real fast, let me tell you that on R1, we're using dot one for all the IP addresses. R3 is using dot three for all the IP addresses or the interfaces. R4 is dot four and R2 is dot two for all the interfaces. So let's go back to R1. You see that we have the IP address of 172.16.13.1 on the serial 00 interface. We see that the physical link is up and also we have line protocol up. So we know that layer 1 and 2 is up. So what I like to do is just start with a basic ping test to see if we can ping from one router to the other. That will eliminate all lower level issues.